Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilled on How Are You, My Dear Learners. In this video, I'm going to share how you write a research article and use a free platform to format your research article according to the journal style. It is very important and also time consuming to format a article according to the journal style. Whether you are submitting for Elsevier, MREL, or any other journals, it is very important that you should follow the author guideline properly. So, you need to use a free or paid platform to do that. And in this video, I'm going to share a few platforms where you can do it very easily. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. <clears throat> My dear learners, the first platform that we are going to talk about is Authoria. This is a discover and publish cutting edge open research. In this platform, not only you publish your article as a collaborative research work as a preprint or full publish using the DOI link but also you can format your article according to the journal guideline. Not only that on top of it you can also cite your article according to the journal guideline in this particular platform. So Authoria gives you all this information for free. So what you can do is first you go to the Authoria, then use the sign in information. Once you go to the sign in information, you just need to check the Google account for login. Just use the Google account for login. Once you log in to the Google account, you will find out that once you log in, first you will check your profile and then you can go into the right side, you will see user settings, browse preprints, browse communities, browse templates, author log. So I go to the browse templates option and in this particular search box, you see Authoria hosts over 8,000 different templates to make document creation easy and powerful. Whether you are working on a research report for a class or a Fortune 500 company, we have you covered. We also have virtually every journal thesis there is. If you don't see it, let us know and we can do add one for you. So you can see research document, latex document, interactive document, markdown document, all these document templates are also given. Not only also the featured journals and publishers like American Journal of Sociology Review, American Sociology Review, journals with direct submission, all this information are given very easily in this particular template. So you can see, you can write down that IEEE journal. Let's say this is the format that I'm going to talk about, IEEE. And you see that IEEE template comes out and use this template for IEEE. And now once you use this template, the template will show you how to use the IEEE template. Now you can see that the format is already given over here. All you have to do, just change the abstract according to your need, change the introduction according to your uh, according to your main manuscript. Also add figure, table, everything. You can see here that in the document view, you can add export option in PDF, Microsoft Word, LaTeX, Zip, Archive. You can also use the formatting like bold, italic, numbering list, bullet point, insert using abstract figure, interactive files, rich media table, equation, link, citation, everything you can do insert in this particular template. Not only this, but the fantastic thing is that if you want to cite anything, just click the citation and let's say you want to cite, let's say economic growth and inflation, just for the example, I'm doing it. And then you load anything from the Crossref, PubMed, local DOI and URL. Let's say I want to add any citation and then cite in this case. And you can see that the citation is added over here. Once you add the citation and once you write the whole article using the Authoria IEEE template, you go and see that how to export this information. So you can see the export information. I want to export it in the PDF version. So now it will show you in a IEEE format the PDF version that I recorded. So download your document. The document is already downloaded. Once it is downloaded, what you have to do, you see the IEEE template your name, affiliation, your abstract, introduction. And you can see here that all these information are in according to the IEEE template, referencing also in the IEEE template. So you have to just write down this template according to your content. And once you up download it or export it, it will be in a IEEE template. So this is how you can use Authoria. The next one is the 
SCI flow or SCI flow. You can also use this SCI flow for free. Just start writing now, it's free. You can go to the SCI flow and using the sign up option, I already signed in. So I have my username and password. I log into the SCI space, SCI flow option. And once you go to the login option, you will find out that documents, templates, author profile preferences. So I go to the templates and you will find out that the academic, academic standard, SES, MEA, American Psychological Association, APA, Chicago, lots of IEEE, all these templates are given. Let's say I want to make it IEEE format, create a IEEE document with IEEE citation style and I press start writing. Once you press the start writing, then it will come up with opening a document in the IEEE format. So according to the author, authoria, the same way you can give that author the document title, you write the abstract, you can use the different methodology and results and discussion. In this particular case, it is very much editable so you can do it here you can also give a citation you go and see citations okay and now you can see that if you if you look at this uh, citation let me check it let me see in here you can see citation research li library you can see let scifflow do the referencing formatting for you so you can do all the referencing you can connect your zotero library you can connect your mendeley library you can upload your EndNote bib text and then cite it from directly this particular folder to the scifflow document so this is very interesting and very easy things once you have done it you can always export and submit it will format it according to the IEEE format so scifflow is one of the best place where you can format your article according to the journal guideline and IEEE or LCVR or any journal that you like it has it all the cover so Basically, the format and title is according to the academic style. You can see all the styles are giving here. Academic standard. There are academic standard document. IEEE citation. You can change from drop down menu. What are the citation we are talking about? You can easily choose your citation style as well. So, SciFlow is one of the best platform like Authoria to use it. Now, my dear learners, before I go to the next one, I would like to share our journal about International Journal of Sustainability and Multidisciplinary Research. I am strongly recommend you because the journal I am we are now calling for paper and you can submit your ongoing research article to this particular journal. It is the ISSN number index and all the major indexing are already there. So you can use this journal as a platform for your first publication. Remember, the journal gives you three days review process so it is very fast and the most important thing you don't you do not have to pay a single money to publish in this particular journal it is completely apc free journal secondly i also welcoming you to start my new course publish in a fast scope of journal in six classes i'm going to start in first january 2025 so those who are interested to join my course please feel free to join this link using in the this video description box and join in my courses to start with your publication journey very smoothly i also have a meta analysis course and also learn statistics methodology course so you can join those courses as well now the final one is the size space in the size space it is a very fantastic way called the journal formatting and in this particular platform you can use it for free or paid version what you have to do let's say here i want to publish in i triple e format okay so you can see it i triple e publisher so click this one, you will find out that all the default template for IEEE journals, Astronomy, Geophysics, Bell Labs, CS, uh, Computer, Musical Library, IEEE Journal, Feasible Electronics. So I want to use this template. And now this is the template that I'm going to use for my uh, manuscript. What I have to do, just click this one, MS Word, and I search one of my manuscript here and I open it and you see, the jar the document is converted into i triple e format very easily and fantastically you can see the please bear with us now it is almost done let's go and you can see that this is my title this is my name and all these information are according to the i triple e format you can see here that everything is 
decorated and designed by the system itself. You do not have to do anything. It will save your time and also your hard work to format according to the journal need. Now, now you can change the title. You can change your different type of selection title, authors, everything you can do it. Now import the wizard. You can see click the box with the title and skip the wizard. You can do it. So once you have done it, you see this is the paper that we are going to talk about now skip the wizard your document would not be migrated no i want to i do not want to skip it and now once you do it you will see that that converted form is already given so you just need to edit or anything that you need you can you can do it and finally what you can do import the wizard which means you are going to click the box for the title and your document migrating is almost complete are you sure you want to go back at this moment no so once you have done it your my document is migrated no title yet i want to put the title and everything so no title no abstract yet so i already done everything preview format document so i click the preview format document okay because everything is given here you can see here this is working on this is a paid version and unpaid version so you can use it for both the process now the whole thing is converted into the IEEE format you see the formatting is almost done right almost done in the right hand side edit on typeset if you want to edit on the typeset then it's fine if you don't want to edit on the typeset then all you have to do just copy the whole thing and you can export it from your computer so this is how you can create a document export the document you can see the, the, the export the document over here and you can see share you can click the share and you can see the file you see file new document upload ms word make a copy save as in a pdf document and latex format you can do it very easily using this size page journal formatting platform so i hope this video is useful for you my dear learners and in the new new year eve i wish everyone happy new year merry christmas and I would like to show you more new research ideas and papers, how to write it and publish it for free in future. Hopefully, I will see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to submit your article to our journal as well as join my courses to learn how to write a research article in six classes. So all these things are available in the link description box. I hope to see you again in near future. Thank you, my dear learners. Happy New Year.